kitchen? Kitchen. Kitchen. You're having a latte? You got the ham, gruyere, and egg crepe. We're going to have some good crepe. Nutella crepe. Nutella crepe. And a breakfast croissant. So we've got bacon and egg. Yeah, and some cheese on there. Mm. Um, I'm ready to eat. Then what guys know how it is? Crepe is almost complete. It is, but I feel like you ate it into the shape of a goldfish cracker. So about that? <laughs> I don't know. Now, if you ask me which one I like better, the savory and the sweet. I'm a savory guy. I know you are, yeah. But this isn't too sweet. No. But I love my breakfast meats and eggs and cheeses in the morning. Yeah. I'm with you. I mean, I do like the savory better, but I mean, I love sweet, so I had to get one of each. Because... Well, yeah, we had to try. Now, yeah. we might not get anything for lunch, like at first said, just because they do have a line here now, and we're almost done, so maybe we'll do something else fun for lunch. Okay.
so we just left the French kitchen. I enjoyed it. Hashtag International Crepe Day. I thought it was very quaint and yummy. I thought it was like being La Patisserie. It was. It really was. Because they even had a little shop there. Um, and then they have a little kitchen area where they do cooking classes. It looked like Eddie said, it looked like a smaller version of a home ec class. Do they still have home ec anymore? I don't know. People are probably like, what the heck is home ec? Anyways. Are they still teaching a woman how to cook? How are they going to cook for their men? Hashtag showing my age. <laughs> so, yeah. Please, if you are a local or you're in Colorado Springs visiting, you have got to check out the French Kitchen. Oh, it's over at Flint Ridge and Academy. And... Not a lot of places to sit, so get there early. Yeah, but I did notice that people were sitting in the kitchen area, which I didn't know. Right. We're new, so well, we Well, there were a know. few tables there, but yeah. they weren't like sitting at like the kitchen prep like area. Like the student area. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll have more to talk about on this later. Again, we didn't get sure. lunch uh, just because there was a line as we were leaving. That was a long Good line. for them. We support our small business. Yeah. Um, we want them to do well. I just don't feel like waiting in line to get something. And I don't know how long it'll stay fresh until we got to... Yeah, so we definitely will be coming back to try that chorizo sandwich. Uh, so much things. Oh, so many things. Yeah, a lot of stuff we still want to try. Nah. But that's it for now. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Bye. Oh, my gosh. The conversations we had before we hit record. Arr. Not for kids' ears. <laughs> so we are back home now after having a wonderful breakfast at the French Kitchen. <clears throat> Wouldn't you say? Oh, it was awesome. It was amazing. It was wonderful. It was terrific. It was very cute and fun. It totally reminded me of La Patisserie. See, now we can have La Patisserie year-round. <clears throat> or we can stop going to Disney World because we can just do this here. That's not... Not an option? It's the closest thing I feel that we're going to get to the French Bakery at Epcot here in Colorado Springs. So what we're trying to do with this video and with other videos is we want to find places that remind us of World Showcase. Yeah, kind of while we're waiting for our next trip. We're not going to do them in any specific order. No. I mean, there's 11 pavilions. Of course, we don't need to do the American Pavilion because no. you can get a burger anywhere. I mean, even when we're at Epcot <clears throat> World Showcase, <clears throat> we don't, we don't eat really at the American Pavilion no. because... They have one quick service place there, and honestly, it's like burgers, fries, steaks. It's not that it's bad, it's just... You can get the food anywhere, so we yeah. like to try the different country pavilions. Yeah. So this was our French pavilion. Yes. For our World Showcase at Home series. Yes. So we got plenty of others to do. The hardest one's probably gonna be hard to find is a Mexican restaurant yeah. or an Italian restaurant. That's gonna be very difficult to find. And we're <laughs> trying to stay away from places that are uh, chain restaurants, so we're not gonna be doing we're Italian gonna, yeah. at Olive Garden. No, we want to do. We want to support our local. Um, businesses we here. will do Taco Bell for Mexico no so I picked up um, their menu and I picked up it's got two sides to it but they have uh, cooking classes there um, which we might have to we might have to try that um, they have cooking classes they have sweet classes they have a you can grab a quick lunch there and they also have birthday parties there so yeah, that's kind of Japanese cute. class I know, right? Like, I I don't know. They have things for kids. Look, they have a Thai, seafood experts, kids' pizza party. Yeah, we're definitely going to try that. Teens DIY stuff. pasta. I mean, appetizers, soups. Yeah, I'm. it's it's really cute place. And the menu's got quite a bit of stuff on it. A lot of stuff I don't know how to pronounce. I'm not even going to try. Like, a clar? Eclair. Eclair. That does sound familiar. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of good stuff, but we definitely, yeah, we didn't get anything for lunch because the line was The long, line was there. But they have a, a chorizo friand. Friand, I don't know, F-R-I-A-N-D, friand. I, I just love chorizo, so that sounds And that looked really good, like it was like the bread, I don't know, it just looked like it was like in like a pastry and it was obviously like a stuffed pastry and then it was cut. That's the way it looked to me, right? Yeah. Uh, it, and another reason it's cool, like you walk in there and it's not totally like La Patisserie. I mean, you walk into La Patisserie at World Showcase and they got that big glass case that just envelops Oh, it's, you. it's like a, yeah, u shape. This okay. this one's just one big one, glass case. There's a couple. But they yeah. still got, like, they got the Napoleon dessert, which we've had mm -hmm. there before. They, they got a lot of good stuff. You can get some French coffee there. I had the latte. And, you know, I know originally I said it needed sugar. I didn't put anything in my latte. It was It was delightful. It was really good. And uh, 
the breakfast croissant and the crepes. Oh. Some good crepe. <laughs> Highly recommend. We so we're not sure what we're going to do next, which country we're going to try to We do to have go. things in mind, though. I'm very excited. But if you have any ideas, you could always like, subscribe, comment. Share. And let us know what you think we should try. Or even if you're in Colorado Springs, you're local, and you think of places we can go to, like for a Moroccan restaurant, yeah. a German restaurant, yes. Japanese, Chinese, um, German, did I say German? You did. Uh, there's Canadian, there's a UK pavilion. I already know what I'm doing for UK, though. Norway. I don't know about Norway. Mexico. That might be the hardest one to find. I think that's going to be the hardest one to find. Besides, and honestly, in Canada. Although, I think we're just mm. going to have to get with our good friend Mimi and maybe she can whip up something at her house. I don't know. <laughs> so again, let us know what you think. Please leave us comments, questions. Um, we love to get feedback. Um, I just love to get fed. Um, you can tell by my belly and every time you see one of these videos. It's getting in my face too. You know, I'm not thinking about the Nora Pavilion. I'm not excited about trying to find a place because they eat a lot of, like on you their menu there, they have you like- You can't leave one out mackerel and you can't leave one out herring i know you can't leave one out um you love herring you have a little one <laughs> um so yeah let us know like subscribe comment Share. please give us feedback one way or another and stay tuned for more tall tales and short stories she's the short one